Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Gopi Chandran. Today we are going to discuss about uh, expiry day strategy. Okay, so this strategy is short started strategy which you can do on uh, Thursdays. Okay, in Bank Nifty using hmm. our Algo platform. Okay, so uh, now uh, uh, the problem which we have faced is uh, like uh, if you are a, a normal retail trader. The problem is you take this all this straddle short straddle portion but you don't put any uh, stop loss or you don't put any targets so you end up in unlimited loss okay so uh, any option selling strategy you have to put uh, stop loss that is very compulsory okay so uh, from the mistakes okay so from the mistakes what normal retail people do we have a solution for that so we have come up with a solution for that and we are trying to uh, find a solution through our uh, global algos platform so this uh, strategy uh, actually this strategy short straddle is very useful on the expiry days okay thursdays so now i will tell you when you have to enter in this strategy what is the target you have to put uh, and the back testing result and how you can uh, do this strategy in our global algos platform so this uh, strategy short straddle you should enter in bank nifty okay uh, the bank nifty you have to enter at uh, 10 am and the exit time is 1 30 pm okay because see what happens is uh, from 9 15 to uh, 10 o'clock uh, there are so much uh, till 9 45 okay there are so much noises in the market market will be little volatile and all so we we have to give some uh, time for the market okay especially bank nifty so from this 10 to 1 30 okay uh, market will be on a uh, range bond on a sideways market most of the time okay so uh, we will be entering in this strategy at 10 am and we'll be exiting at 1 30 pm see uh, the next thing is the stop loss okay see stop loss there are two types of stop loss you have to put okay so first is uh, 500 stop loss okay so 500 stop loss because we have taken uh, the back testing result of thousand stop loss okay so that is why i told you you can put two types of stop loss both have got uh, good winning rate uh, ratio uh, like uh, 70 percentage win rate is there okay uh, 60 to 70 percentage win rate is there so uh, for this uh, stop loss you can put uh, 500 uh, and if you uh, if you have loss in that uh, trade you can take one more trade you can take second trade but if you are putting thousand rupees uh, stop loss you should take only one trade okay so 500 stop loss you have to put two uh, you have to take two trades uh, thousand stop loss you have to take only one uh, one trade target there is no limit okay you should not put the target if you want you can put that is up to you so for example uh, the scenario is uh, you have put uh, 1000 as stop loss and you need only 1000 as target means you can put 1000 as target and uh, you have put 500 as stop loss if you want 1 is to 2 you can put 1000 as target okay so uh, because what happens in uh, straddles we get the theta benefit okay so we are taking a short straddle so what happens in short straddle is uh, for example if the premium is 150 on call side and uh, 150 on put side so we get almost 300 uh, points premium okay so we are not waiting for this 300 we at least need 100 points from this okay because we will be closing at 130 so 100 is uh, it's is easily achievable okay so you can put if you put 500 you can put 2000 as uh, target okay so uh, once you put 2000 as target as soon as it reaches 2000 rupees per lot okay i'll show you how you can do that as soon as it reaches 2000 rupees per lot the orders will get automatically executed so uh, if the stop loss is again i told you if the stop loss is hit one time then you have to again enter okay uh, uh, again you have to enter one more time so maximum in a in a day you have to in this strategy you have to take only risk of 1000 rupees okay so uh, the target and all uh, the target uh, stop loss how you have to put i will show you uh, so here 
uh, see uh, this is our uh, platform globalalgos.com uh, okay so uh, there is option called uh, algo builder here you have to have account with fires okay so you have to open account with fires so once you open account with fires there is an option to click this authenticate page okay so just click this it will get automatically authenticated you have to open fires account that's enough okay so once you open fires account it will get automatically authenticated and if you have not opened uh, like if you don't have uh, if you have not opened fires account here you can uh, just give uh, once you click the authenticate in, uh, authenticate button it will uh, redirect to your fires page and just click your uh, login ID and password and it will get automatically authenticated so you have to find this authenticated button here then only your trades will get uh, executed okay so here uh, see uh, now I'll tell you uh, so once you uh, take this straddle okay there are so many strategies okay so once you click your straddle bank nifty so we are entering in bank nifty 43200 is the uh, what uh, support price okay so 43200 uh, 43138 so 43200 let's take 43200 uh, the expiry is uh, 8 okay so uh, the good thing of this see as I told you uh, it's very difficult for retail people uh, the the main problem what uh, we do is uh, we take a straddle okay we take 43200 if we take 43200 for example uh, we take at uh, 150 call option 150 will be the price c and uh, same 150 will be the p so uh, sometimes you will see 1000 rupees profit here okay you will see 500 rupees loss here so overall it will be what 500 rupees profit okay so what happens is this is okay okay as far as we are making profit it is good but once you see here uh, uh, 2500 okay once the market why we are taking short straddle short straddle means once uh, we are expecting market to be sideways okay so if there is a, a violent move in the market you will not even get time to uh, like uh, close the trade okay because that lows will be showing very high loss okay so that is why for retail traders it's very important that you have to protect your capital okay so the capital protection is very important that is why we have given the stop loss okay so uh, stop loss is very important in any strategies most of the uh, most of the retail people the mistake which uh, uh, retail people will do is they don't put uh, stop losses okay so uh, the target target is not uh, necessary as i told you if 2500 if you want 2000 if you think that it's 2000 is easily achievable it's very easy so just click this short button okay once you click the shot this will be the maximum loss the stop loss 5000 because we have taken 10 lots okay if you take one lot it will be 500 so the target will be you will get 20000 see just click okay everything uh, will be done automatically okay the algo will uh, do uh, stop losses target everything will be done automatically you have don't have to even look into it okay just have to see uh, before 130 uh, the trade uh, is getting executed uh, the stop loss or target have met or not or even if you forget also by 315 all the trades will get automatically uh, like uh, cancelled okay that means whatever the profit or loss you can see it will not be uh, carried forward or it will not uh, be lying simply like that uh, the, all the trades will get uh, closed okay so uh, this is uh, how you have to do this strategy in global algos and we have taken a uh, backtest result okay so uh, this scenario as per our uh, uh, backtest uh, data and all this scenario if the iv is uh, above 15 because we have taken here you can see here iv okay this strategy i have got we have taken backtest result and we have sorted out and we have taken iv especially from that okay you can see iv is above if the iv is below 15 okay one day only the iv have got uh, risen and we the stop loss got hit okay the 70 percentage is the uh, win rate okay almost all the uh, targets are getting hit okay so this uh, we have taken only thousand as profit but 
the target uh, will be more okay you will be making good amount of profits because you are not if you are not giving a target uh, price you are giving only stop loss this target will be more this will not be the target and uh, 70 percentage will be the uh, win rate okay so uh, this strategy uh, you can uh, uh, you can do on all the expiry days okay uh, so uh, just uh, not only straddles triangles you can do iron fly you can do iron counter any strategy you can do it's very easy and you can create your own strategy the good thing about this is even if you create bear call spread bull put spread you can give stop loss on all the trades okay that is more important because uh, first if you start calculating your losses then you will start making profit okay so uh, first before entering if you are running a business also the first uh, preference should be like yeah okay i am going to this is my loss okay so if you start a business if you have bought fun, uh, furniture you have uh, met uh, uh, other expenses and all you you have you will be having the calculation right so you know that if i close this business this will be my maximum loss so the same scenario applies here we have to first calculate our loss okay before entering into any trade or any business okay so uh, thank you all thank you for watching this video